Hello Lola's. So I'm here with Sunday's Best and we have baby Bella and Charity in their little Sunday clothes. Okay. So as you can see, Bella has had a cereal bottle and she's stuffed and she's also giving me straight attitude because she's like, um, I really don't want to be in a dress, mommy. She really don't like being dressed up. But she's so cute. I'm like, let me see. Can we can we get you over here so you can see? She this girl got straight attitude. Look at this. She like, I'm really not feeling it. But anyway, guys, um that's okay. Baby charity is like okay. She's okay with it. She's like, whatever. She just wouldn't let me put on her shoes. She got shoes down there, but she wouldn't let me put on her shoes. Anyway, so I thought I would um put them on camera today and show you guys this. But I wanted to share um a few funny stories that I was thinking of today. Um uh, experiences with box openings. So the first one I want to tell y'all about is it was when I was suspecting a baby. I'm, you know, I'm going to leave out artist names and all that stuff, but I was expecting a baby. I had been chatting with the artist over the phone. Um, I don't know why the artist, somehow we ended up talking and the artist was like, um, she, while we were on the phone, she got off in a panic and everything and she one of her pets got loose and she um I told her about my allergies with the cats and all that so she had taken the baby out and outside and you know like rinsed it off or something or whatever so yeah it was silicone and she had put it wrapped it and and she said that she had sealed it and everything outside the house that's what she told me but it was a few days before she actually shipped so when so when the um the pet that she was missing was her pet rat and she said she couldn't find him nowhere and he wasn't running around the house and he had put out all this stuff and blah 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 and I was like oh my god first of all I I mean who has rats you know like you have hamsters and whatever y'all call them guinea pigs and all this crazy stuff which I still think are rats but I was like, oh my God, I hope it's not in the box with the doll. So when she shipped the doll off and when I got the doll, y'all should have seen me. Like before I started re recording, I was like shaking the box and listening. I was just shaking it and then I'll listen and I'll get real quiet. And I don't know how I thought the rat would live throughout those days of travel, but it was only like a one day travel too. And I was just like, oh my God, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, right? So I was nervous about that. So that was funny because I really thought that that rat was going to probably be in that box. I probably would have died and that would have just been the end of me. So another time I got a baby, um, it was, I got a baby and when I got the baby, I had did the box opening and all that and I was doing a video and all that. And then one of my friends messaged me and was like, Serenity, um, where is it just your camera lighting or is that baby missing a, you know, baby booby? And I was like, what are you talking about? Oh my God. So I got in a doll and the artist either forgot to paint the other side of the boob, paint the baby booby or it had come off in the travel. I don't know, but the baby had one boob painted and one not. So it was just like, oh my gosh, that was another thing. Then I got a baby once and I kept saying, something is different about this baby. Something is different about this baby. And it was a big, ba you know, a bigger baby, an older baby. So I was like, something is kind of like it's, like it's missing something, but I couldn't place it. But he was just uber cute. And um, I was just like, okay, come to find out. 
um, the artist, I had asked them to root the eyebrows. The artist forgot to put the eyebrows on the baby. So the baby didn't have eyebrows. Now I understand when they're newborn because sometimes I don't put eyebrows on my babies when they're newborn. But this was a bigger baby and he definitely could have used those eyebrows. But I just was like, she was like, well, you can send them back. I'm sorry. I totally forgot that part. I was like, don't worry about it. <laughs> Oh my gosh. And then I got a baby. I opened the box. Ah, my skin was crawling. The the doll blanket was covered with bits and pieces of hair. You know how when men shave their hair and they have like hair all over whatever, wherever they're sh they shaved at or whatever. It, it was just like hair all over the blankets, all over the clothes, all over the doll. I was just so disgusted. I was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And then the artist says, I, you know, I was kind of like, I didn't know how to say it to the artist, but I was kind of like, well, I don't know what, but he's got, oh, and I think the doll had like a food stain on him too, like ketchup or something. I don't know. <laughs> it was so crazy. Oh my gosh, so anyway, the video cut off. I ran out of space, but so basically that baby came with hair all over him, a food stain on him or something, and I didn't know how to tell the artist when the artist was asking, like, what, was they okay when they arrived, etc., etc., and I was kind of like, um, it, it was kind of, um, had hair all over it or whatever, and the funny thing about it is this particular baby did not have hair. This baby had painted hair. So that was even the most funny part. And then the artist said, oh, I'm sorry. I, I must have packed them in the dark. And that must be was one of the blankets where I was rooting on or something like that. And I'm like, okay. <sighs> so anyway, needless to say, that baby I ended up selling. Um, that baby I sold like within a couple of days after I got it. I didn't even, I don't think I put it on YouTube. I might have once put it on YouTube. I don't know, but it got sold. And so that baby never had a chance. But it was just hilarious. Like I've had some of the funniest experiences. And they're funny now, but in the moment you kind of be like, huh? Now, honestly, with the eyebrow thing, that wasn't a big deal for me because, like I said, the baby was so freaking cute and everything else was on point. So it was like the baby kind of had a ridge that where it kind of looked like it had eyebrows. So that wasn't really a big deal for me. I was looking forward to the rooted eyebrows, but it, it that wasn't a big deal to me. But the whole rat in the box and the hair on the babies and all the... I've had some other stories, but I can't think of them right now. But those kind of popped up in my head today again. And I was like, I've had a journey in collecting, like, seriously, the missing baby booby. I mean, I've just, like, I've had, oh, and one other time I was doing a box open. I was recording, and as I was recording, the baby head fell off. And I was like, well, I guess I can't upload this one. I've had a head fall off. I've had a leg fall off. I've had a lot of different things happen during my box openings where I haven't been able to upload. And so I've just, you know, now you look back at it and it's kind of like, oh, this is funny. So that was just some of my funny experiences with box openings where I've just been kind of like, I can't believe the artist sent this. And then, oh, one last box opening. This wasn't funny, but it kind of creeped me out. And I know how people be like, oh, my God, you know, um, the baby, you know, you know how they say, like, they'll say, oh, y'all babies look like they're dead, blah, 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 blah. Well, I went to, when I got ready to open the baby, I did the box, all the goodies and everything. And when I got to the baby, it was in this, like, this body bag. It looked like a body bag. And I was kind of creeped out. I was like, oh my god, that that, that don't look good. That. <laughs> so, I don't know. It's funny. But once you get your babies and you get them settled and you fix them, especially like if they're reborns, the head fell off. I had extra zip ties. I put the head on. Put the, the leg fell off and I put the leg on. Can we go to Wait. And so, yeah, so I, I really, um... 
really have had some fun, funny experiences now that I look back on them. So, guys, you know, live your best life, collect your best life. Is that, does that make sense? I don't know. Anyway, but don't forget to subscribe, like this video, give it a thumbs up. And that is it for Miss Bella 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 and Charity Poo. So we will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.